there were two independent medical colleges in the city of Little Rock. The one was affiliated with the University of Arkansas. The other was a private medical college called the Physicians and Surgeons Medical College. Abraham Flexner visited Little Rock as he visited every other site of a medical college in the United States during 1909 and 10. He then published what came to be known as the Flexner Report on Medical Education. Flexner took both schools to task. He said neither of our medical schools was really any good and the best solution that could be reached in reaction to his report was to merge the two. These two were merged in 1911. The graduating students of 1912 published a scathing uh, appeal to the Board of Trustees of the University of Arkansas in which they told all the things that were wrong over at 2nd and Sherman Street where the medical college then was. The result of it was the Board of Trustees accepted the Dean's resignation and they made Morgan Smith the Dean. Dr. Smith was one of the men who really was responsible for the school maintaining its viability and he was very successful at that. I think I've been told that that the entire budget for the medical school at that time was fifty thousand dollars which uh, is amazing when you think about the present uh, expenditures. Smith went to Governor Donaghy. He had a crisis about space and about accommodations and the old state house came to be the home of the College of Medicine in the fall of 1912. So within two years we had been savagely critiqued about the two medical schools. The two had been merged. The students had staged a sort of uprising. A new dean had come in. The state capital had been finished and it just all fit together. 